YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video. And today's video, as you can see from the title, is another crochet hair review video. And today's crochet hair, as you also saw from the title, we got the authentic ocean wave hair. As you can see in the package I am holding up right now, this is in the color 33, but I have it in my head in two different colors. I have the color solid 33 as well as the color P430. And we're going to get into all of that in this video, but if you're newer to my channel, welcome. Join the family, smash that subscribe button, but like the title said, this is a review. So if you clicked on this thinking it was an install, a DIY, a tutorial video, that's not what it was. The title was very clear. It's a review video. So it's a video where I'm coming on here first, telling you the first day thoughts for crochet hair, literally minutes after I've installed it, telling you overall, was it an easy install, hard install, how many packs I use, where I purchased the hair, overall, what my first day impressions of that hair are. Then I come on here one week later with my one week thoughts of the hair, telling you overall, has it gone uphill or downhill only in a matter of a few days? And overall, what my nighttime routine has been like with that hair over the course of that week. Then I come on here with my final day thoughts of a crochet hair, whether it's been three, four, five, six, seven weeks, I come on here on the literal day I'm taking that hair out, telling you overall what my impressions are. Do I think it's water friendly? Is it active wear friendly? And overall, do I recommend you pause the video and go run out and purchase it? Now there are timestamps down below for those who are impatient, who want to skip around. But if you are one of those people who wants to watch the continuous flow of this video, just keep watching to see my first day thoughts on this authentic ocean wave hair. A few moments later. So now coming on here for my day one thoughts on this authentic ocean wave hair. Now, like I said in my intro, this is not an install or a DIY or tutorial video. However, I do have one for this hair and I'll link it up above right now if you want to check it out. But this video or this portion of the video, you always know my day one portions are always shorter when I do have an install video, but this one might be a little bit longer because I do need to get into how I came into this hair. So if you don't want to know how I got this hair, skip ahead, I'd say two minutes. I got this hair from Amazon and you might be like, if you're familiar with my channel, oh, Talia buying a hair from Amazon, that is not what she does. I know she's mentioned this once or twice before. She doesn't buy from the Amazon. She has a beef with them. Personal beef, I do. I do. For the last six years that I've had this channel, you ain't never heard me say, and I got this hair from Amazon. That ain't never came out my mouth because I got personal beef with them. They love using content creators photos. They love stealing it. If there's one thing Amazon is going to do is they're going to have somebody on their page who is not actually wearing the hair that they are promoting. That's for sure. There's many a time where I've been scrolling the Amazons, just looking, just perusing, and then I see myself. And I see myself wearing a hair that I had no way had, was reviewing, had no way tried. And I hate that because I have a channel. I'm a content creator. And there are people who know me from being a YouTube reviewer of crochet hair. That's how they know me. So they'll scroll Amazon themselves and they might see me and not correlate the fact that, oh, I haven't seen Leah review that. So there's no way, that's, that's a lie. Some people might actually think, oh, she's co-signing this. They've gotten her permission and they're co-signing. I think nowadays people have become smart enough to know that Amazon, and I'm not gonna blast Amazon because it's not the company as a whole is doing it. It's certain vendors who are doing this. I think people are smart enough to know when it comes to hair, a lot of the times it's lies. So they're taking a chance. And sometimes that chance comes out pretty great. But me, myself, no, I have not been a fan of it. But why did I buy it this time? I got a recent comment on a video um, asking about where's your Amazon? Amazon reviews, do you review hair from Amazon, this, that, and the third, and it came to my attention, or I thought about the fact that a lot of people don't have a choice but to. Some people don't have a beauty supply store, they might live in an area that's very rural, and so to give those people options, I decided, why not just... I bought a couple hair, so there might be a couple of Amazon hair that you see from me. But the authentic hair, when I bought it, I was like, oh, that's authentic. That's a brand that I'm familiar with. They sell on Sam's Beauty. You can buy these at any kind of beauty supply store. This is not a brand that is exclusive to Amazon. So although I'm linking below the Amazon link I bought it from, you can buy this 
from pretty much anywhere. If you can find a black owned beauty supply store to buy this from, you know that's where my heart is always gonna be because they rarely steal our photos. But I digress, now into the review. I purchased two packs of the 33. You see I have the 33 here if you watch my install video. You also know I bought two packs of the P430 color. So I ended up using one full pack of the 33, one full pack of the P430 color, and then all I have left of the third pack of the P430 is this little bit of hair. So about three fourths of the third pack. So honestly, I got away with using almost three packs of hair. Now, granted, if you watch my install video too, you know some of my hair is left out. Like this hair right here, this is not the crochet hair. That's actually my hair growing out of my scalp. Yes, I did a little bit of leave out because I thought the P430 and the 33 put together will make a fine combination for flowing with my hair. And if you can see, I think it flows beautifully. Let me do a turnaround so you can see the full 360 of my hair. Get into it. This is what it looks like. Now the package, does it claim to have any length on this? It's 20 inches, so this hair is 20 inches. I kept it pretty much at its whole 20 inches. I just cut a little bit at the bottom. Of course, when I was raking my fingers through and I applied a little bit of mousse, all I did in my install video at the end was apply a little bit of mousse. When you're running your fingers through it, of course, you're gonna get a little bit of stragglies cut those off and now you're having and left with the hair that I am with right now. All I did to kind of blend my leave out was just I used a, a very thin wand curler so that's what I used. I would have used a crimper if I still had a crimper. The crimpers create like the little waves but I cannot find for the life of me my crimper but that's okay. I'm kind of hesitant about how keeping up and the upkeep with leave out and this type of hair because the last hair I did leave out with was fine because it was just I had to twist up my hair at night and that was good to go. This hair might be a little tricky since it is a straighter style, but I'll keep you in the loop on that as we proceed. So use almost three packs. I think you might would need on the safe side to buy four packs if you braid your whole head down, which a lot of people, majority of the people watching this are gonna braid their whole head down. So you can't probably get away with three packs. You might would need four, but I don't think you will really need more than four packs, honestly, with this hair. With this hair too, it's kind of bulk hair. So they kind of give you a lot on one thing. So it's hard to say how many times I split the hair because the hair comes very unique. It's like very all together. So I can't, this is the one time I can't tell you how many times I just kind of grabbed and go. I did what kind of made sense because the hair, it's not a finite strand as with a lot of hair. It kind of comes all together. So this is like one piece. This is like one piece. I'd say I definitely split these pieces. Like I definitely did. But then some pieces were still kind of big. Like this is still kind of big. So I split that too. So I did split thinner a little bit when I got to the front and kept it a little bit thicker, but not the full thickness when I was in the back of the head. Overall, if you watch my install too, you know my mom did my braid down. She did about 10 braids, all for the most part going straight back. But then of course my little bit of hair left out on the side. That is how my braid downs are probably gonna be getting done this whole year. 2022 is the year of, I ain't doing them no more. We're done. That's a 2021 and, and forward time frame. It didn't take her that long to do the braid down. Honestly, when she leaves hair out, I always think it's gonna be more complex for her. Like, you you got this, you got, nope, she can do it. She is fantastic at that. So it took her, probably we watched two episodes of Abbott Elementary, which is a 30 minute program. So all, a total of an hour, took me probably about an hour, I would say hour 30, maybe two hours total because I did need to style my own hair. So off camera is when I like curl my own hair. But factoring that in, I'd say maybe total of two hours all, all together, but very quick install too. So this is not a hair that's gonna give you a lot of fuss. I also said in my install video, Shay, if you follow Shay here on YouTube, you need to. She's an incredible crochet hair content creator solely. All she does is create crochet hair content. Whereas me, you might get some shenanigans here and there. She gives gives you the full body crochet hair content that you need. She recently reviewed this hair and I was like, it was it was already in my hair box. I had bought this from Amazon along with two other Amazon hairs months ago. And then when I saw her slaying in and I was like, oh, when I put that hair in, I'm gonna be looking like a bad something. 
I'm be looking like a bad something. It's the perfect hair for me as I go to New Orleans this week. Upcoming this week, I'm going to New Orleans. So my one week thoughts might be a tad bit pushing it. it might be a little bit before my actual one week date. So you guys keep watching to see my one week thoughts right before my trip. And again, since I'm traveling with this hair, it'll be a good time post that when you see my final thoughts, how this hair held up post New Orleans. But to see pre, just keep watching. One week later. So now coming on here for my one week thoughts on this authentic ocean wave hair. Now let's get into the camera. Let me zoom in real quickly so you guys can see. Let me turn around so you guys can see the length of everything that we got going on. It's giving. It's giving what needs to be given and it's probably because I've given this hair what needed to be given to it. Um, and what I mean is if you're a frequent watcher of mine, you know my relationship with Waves. I've had this channel for several years and I've always said of all the curl patterns, Waves and me be boxing. We hate each other. It's a hate, hate relationship. We both don't like each other. I've tried the Kima Ocean Wave, everybody's favorite. I've tried the uh, Cozy Deep, which I would probably put in the Wave category. Uh, main concept, uh, Amazon Wave. I've tried the Rasta Free Lake Wave. I haven't been a fan and I've always been clear probably on why I'm not a fan and it's been really the maintenance the maintenance of it I'm a low maintenance gal over here on this channel your girl wants to go to sleep at night she wants to lay it on down she doesn't want to use products she doesn't want to do anything and why is she talking about herself in third person I don't know but me as a human I do not like to do a lot with my hair that's the reason I went to crochet hair if I wanted to do a lot I just wear my own hair but I've poured a little bit into this hair and it's rewarded me by looking fantastic fantastic now going into it my first week thoughts I always tell you how the maintenance has been with the hair it has been high maintenance mm-hmm it's been high maintenance I'm not pretending it's been high maintenance every night and I've done this religiously this week which is rare for me but it might be because I leave on a plane to New Orleans in about three hours from when I'm sitting right here. So it might be because of that I want it to still look good that I actually did all this pouring. When I say maintenance, I've twisted this hair up every single night. Every single night I've twisted this hair up. That is rare for me. Sometimes I'll be forgetting with most hair, but this hair I've consistently, well I started the first night with five. I did five jumbo twists, then I did four, then I did three, last night I did two shoot I'm thinking maybe tonight you know depending on how turnt we get um it might be just one one big braid but I have at least braided this hair up every single night and every single day I have had to use a product with it now what I have been using is Hawaiian Silky mixed in with a little bit of water which is rare I rarely use or mix Hawaiian Silky Miracle Worker and let me hold, I don't have the bottle in front of me. This is what the Hawaiian Silky Miracle Worker, 14 in one Miracle Worker looks like. I typically use this as a standalone product. I don't know what made me or possessed me to kind of dilute it a little bit with water this go around, but it has actually made the detangling process simpler and easier. Um, so I detangle it in the morning. So when I twist it at night, I, what I was doing was I was twisting it at night after detangling it, but then I would unravel it in the morning and I still needed to do a little something. So I just said, no matter how tangly it is at night, just twist it up, get up in the morning and then go. And that works better with my schedule because I'm more of a, at night I'm most of the time exhausted and I wouldn't mind putting in the work in the morning if that makes sense I'm not necessarily a morning person but I'm a, a morning shower I'm a morning I love my morning skincare that's when the beautification process of me really gets underway so that's why I probably do the maintenance more in the morning than I do at night at night I am still just twisting it up at night and throwing on my bonnet in terms of the feel of this hair um, it tends to feel rough and then it feels very moisturized when I apply my product and then it gets back to the kind of rougher feeling but not rough 
in a bad way. It feels just like all the other ocean waves. If you're familiar with Kima ocean wave, it feels like that. It feels no different than that. It's not super silky. It's not super soft. You can kind of tell that it wouldn't be super silky by the way it looks and the way it blends with my own hair. So I still have had to use my wand curler to kind of blend my hair with it, which again, it's a little bit more work. This whole thing is a little bit more work for me, but overall, it's giving a vibe. If you want to keep watching and see how I feel about this hair on its very final day, keep watching to see my final thoughts on this hair. Later. So now coming on here for my final thoughts on this authentic ocean wave hair. As you can see from the sign, it has been four weeks with this hair. Let me lean in so you guys can kind of see. This is what it looks like. This is what my side, this is of course my hair, doing what it's been doing, and then the front, and then leaning down, and then the sides and the back. As you notice, it has gotten a little bit up. I've just been cutting it throughout the week. I have been busy. Your girl has been busy. This is the first video I have filmed in several, several weeks. Uh, that's because I had to study for my PHR exam. I had no time to think about my hair over these last couple of weeks. Literally, my parents, my family, nobody had been hearing from me, seeing from me. They just said, hey, look, we're in the neighborhood. We're going to come check on you. We're going to actually come to your house and check on you because, girl, you've been ghosting. Even your family and gave us a ring because your girl's head was in the books. Side note, I did pass that exam, but my mom came over one of the days, like the Friday before the exam, and she was like, what's going on with your hair? Because it was just pulled up. It was just pulled up. I did not take care of this hair like I should have following my New Orleans trip. I did my first week thoughts the morning of boarding, going to New Orleans, and I came back from New Orleans and I said, your girl gotta crack down on studying, and hair was the last of my thoughts. But when I did think about it, when it came to mind, when I had to go somewhere out in public to run a, a errand, because that's the only reason I've left the house in the last couple weeks, I did, all I did was brush it out. I went to the store and I actually bought a paddle brush. I never got one of these paddle brushes or had one of these in my actual collection. I got a Denman brush and I have like a hard bristle brush but I never had a paddle brush just because I always put this with either Caucasian type hair or when you wear weaves and bundles neither of which I do so I never saw the need for a paddle brush I don't straighten my hair a lot it's in crochet crochet a lot of the times is synthetic and I don't wear a lot of straight or wavy types hair so I never owned a brush I have to say that might be where I messed up at in my previous waves. I'm, I'm here to admit it. And now that I have this brush, I don't renege on what I said. I think a wave is still a little bit high maintenance, but it can be alleviated by brushing the hair. You do have to brush the hair quite a bit, almost daily, which for me, I choose crochet hair because I love the low maintenance of it. I'm a low maintenance type person. I really want to get up and go, especially with crochet hair. If I want to put time and effort into my head, I would just get silk presses all the time. I would just do all these other styles, but I'm putting crochet hair in my head because I want easy peasy. I want a breeze of a lifestyle. And with this hair, with any wave hair, I don't think you're getting low to no maintenance. You're getting some form of maintenance, either medium or to me, this is high maintenance. I think you're going to have to take care of this hair as well as many other hairs every single day. I mean, every morning brushing it out. I mean, every morning you might have to use products. I use products almost every other day. Now I used a lot, this is just a bottle of water, just a spray spray bottle of water. I used this and I combine it with a little bit of this. So I would spray like maybe one of this, one pump of the Hawaiian Silky Miracle Worker. I spray just a little bit of this cause I don't want to get it too saturated. And then I spray a little bit of water and then I just brush, brush, brush. And that's what I've done most mornings when I actually need to go somewhere. It's different for me. And when I lean in, I don't know if you can tell this front, this front part, it ain't even that as wavy as like, this is the waves. This front part, I, I probably done brush to infinity and beyond because this part, I don't know for some reason has gotten the most tangled. You're gonna get the tangles and you're gonna have to brush every day. That's why the brush comes into effect. I think this hair gets extremely tangly and you're gonna have to brush, which alleviates it for 24 hours and then the next day and then the next day and the next day. So constant brushing, yes, you're gonna have some tangles. I don't think I've had as much frizz to be honest. Let me lean in. I haven't cut any frizz. So frizz isn't the biggest pain point. It's the kind of tangling. And if you don't do anything about the tangles, you're gonna get the matting. So it's going to be a level of the tangles may lead to matting if you 
do nothing about the tangles. So stay on top of the tangles so it doesn't lead to matting, but you're not gonna have a huge amount of frizz. Like I don't see really any frizz and I haven't been cutting kind of the frizz away. So frizz is not a big deal with this hair. In terms of water friendliness, which I know I'm gonna get questions about, I wouldn't, I personally would not. Um, no wave even even now kind of understanding waves a little bit more this hair has allowed me to understand waves a little bit more it does not negate anything i've said about the ocean wave from kima the amazon wave from main concept all the other waves on my channel i feel like yeah i probably messed up because i didn't have a paddle brush but it doesn't take away from the fact that I don't think any wave is gonna be your water friendly solution. It's not. Don't forget about it. Forget, I know it's cute. Even if I had left no hair out, I do not think I would go anywhere near no water with this. And I think the same thing applies to active friendly. Activeness, you're going to be wanting to put it up a lot. Maybe in a bun, you're gonna pull it back into a ponytail, which is only going to exacerbate the amount of detangling that you're gonna have to do. You're gonna have to really be conscious of making sure it doesn't mat while it's in the ponytail, the sweat combined wanting to wash it I don't even think it's water friendly so I don't think you're gonna get the ample amount of washing that you're needing I don't know it's not my it would not be my active friendly or water friendly recommendation but again some of us are not wearing crochet hair for going to at workout or going to the beach we're wearing it in our everyday lives which is what my life has been like these last few weeks it's just been everyday life and I think it's worked well for everyday life I do think it's a change of pace but the most annoying thing has probably been the fact that I left my own hair out and having to manipulate that I might not have seen the full picture it was easy with the Tahiti curl because my my hair naturally wants to be of course curly in its curly state my hair doesn't always want to be straight because uh, it's just not out and about as much as it probably should be so it just naturally probably wants to revert a little bit and I have to stay on top of that I have washed my hair um, throughout this process I think it was it was definitely post New Orleans so I did wash uh, my hair just because of course putting a lot of heat back to back to back over my hair it started to get a little bit of that heat manipulation space I had done a lot of heating when I was of course getting ready to go to New Orleans if you saw my New Orleans vlog I, I probably put heat on it every single day so my hair was having that fried dyed and laid to the side smell that I needed to kind of wash out and revitalize so I did my Olaplex normal kind of wash day really fo focusing on my leave out though more than anything and the wash of course this is it I mean a couple weeks post wash I think it held up okay post one wash but again not something I want to repeatedly get wet so overall that is my thoughts on this authentic ocean wave hair I don't hate this ocean wave hair I might would give an ocean wave hair another chance in the future but I love variety and if you love variety too that's what I try to bring you on this channel make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you can see what I have next what hair I have next in store make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it give it a big thumbs up even if you didn't we love all the love and support over here on this channel as well as make sure that you're following me on Instagram at lilavon89 so you can keep up with my life in real time and i'll see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye